Hello, everybody. The other day I was looking through my library, hunting for some story material. And I ran across a book entitled A Century of Candy Making. I'd read it when it was first given to me. And it brought back memories which many of you still carry somewhere in the back of your mind. Candy has always been universally important to youngsters, oldsters, and in-betweens. Always will be. It's important to me. And since hundreds of millions of dollars worth is sold every year, well, you will be a rare exception if it isn't important to you. Have you any idea how much the candy business has grown in the last 15 years? Look at this. At the wholesale level, over $200 million in 1933, over 300 million in 1937, in 1944, over 600 million, and in 1948, over one billion dollars worth of candy business. What will the future bring? That's anybody's guess. But you can bet it's going to continue to grow as long as folks like sweets. Perhaps some of you remember the confectionery counters of an earlier age, that age when candy came in striped bags. Oh, those Boston baked beans, those peppermint sticks, jawbreakers, and jelly beans, those good old days. But don't think today's youngster is missing anything. Oh, no. He has an even wider selection for his money. And one thing is sure, no matter what he gets for his money, products like these ensure that the quality will be equal to the finest that can be made. Sure, everybody likes to remember those years of long ago as the good old days. But there just isn't any comparison in the quality of today's best sweets and those we used to think were good. Youngsters aren't the only ones who look forward to their daily candy, not so you could notice it. But adults know quality when they taste it. They don't buy just anything that tastes sweet. They select a product that appeals. But they also select candy which is backed by a name known the world over. And besides, the flavor is there. The smoothness of a good confection is there. Well, folks just find what they expect in fine candy. No doubt some of you remember when homemade candy was just the thing. Sure, homemade candy was something to look forward to. But even in the good old days, candy making was a rare event reserved for holidays and special dates. Even then, it was quite a burdensome task. Today, well, who finds time to make candy in these days of rush and bustle? Not I, I'm sure. And yet, like millions of others, I do have a sweet tooth, and it needs frequent satisfying. Who makes fine candy now? That question brings me back to this book and to the chapter that deals with confectionery manufacture at its best. Perhaps you've been in Cambridge, Massachusetts. If you have, you know it's the home of Harvard University the home of Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It's also the home of the New England Confectionery Company, a concern with a background that began in early America. Here is represented the accumulation of over 100 years' experience in fine candy making. Have you any idea what's inside these walls of concrete and glass brick? Even with the best imagination, I think you'll be surprised. There are vast coal storage vaults where are stored tons of such delicacies as imported and domestic nuts, coconut and chocolate, maple products, molasses, and rare fruits, and innumerable delicious flavorings. And these delicacies are not just run-of-the-mill ingredients which can be bought anywhere. They are the best which can be had, the tops in quality brought together from the four corners of the globe. So great is the consumption of corn and sugar syrups that thousands of gallons are used every day. These syrups are stored in great tanks with a capacity in excess of 50,000 gallons. An everyday arrival are the tons of best quality sugar, a most important ingredient of candy, as you might guess. Yes, sir, there's enough sugar here to supply a whole city for months. There's a complete scientific laboratory where skilled chemists are constantly checking raw materials and finished products. They must be sure that everything coming in or going out is tops in purity and flavor. Sure that every piece of candy measures up to Neko's exacting standards. 
and even a well-staffed engineering department where plans are worked out to ensure the best in cleanliness and efficiency. Here are conceived many of the unique pieces of equipment which make the finished products stand above all others. But of greatest importance are the people who make the most of the facilities at their disposal. Candy makers of long experience who feel that their jobs are an exceedingly personal thing. Without these folks who have devoted their lives to a truly fine art, there just wouldn't be any of the candy we like so well. For generation after generation, these folks have passed their skills down from father to son. Whole families have worked with just one thought in mind to produce the best candy that can be made. What's inside this most modern of candy factories? Machines, the finest ingredients, and men who know their jobs. But that's just the beginning of a story on fine candy. A story that is important to everyone who has ever removed a wrapper from a five cent bar and enjoyed that first delicious bite. These candies are old friends, of course. They're as near as your nearest candy counter and are as fine as can be made. The Bolster Bar was originated by this company and who doesn't find his mouth watering when he thinks of candy like this? Or how about the creamy smoothness of big peppermint patties? And then the Sky Bar with its four different centers in one bar. Another Necco first. Necco was the first to box quality chocolate covered peppermints for five cents. And then of course, there are the famous wafers which have been popular since before the turn of the century. Chase and Canada Mints are famous too. The same product under two different names. Hub Gels, Sure, they're a Necco product too. And so is Dairy Churn Fudge. There's a type of Necco candy for every desire. Some of it is packaged as bars for sale on candy counters everywhere. Others may be found in cellophane bags or neat boxes at your confectioners, your drugstore, or your market. But wherever you find it, from high-grade penny candies to Necco confections in bulk, there's real satisfaction. Satisfaction and confidence in a fine product. The ingredients which go into every Necco bar are listed on the wrapper. Milk chocolate, sugar, corn syrup, molasses, peanuts and salt all go into the famous bolster. But the way these ingredients go together is the secret. Bolster is the careful result of years of experience. Polished, steam-heated kettles are the starting place for the crunchy molasses candy center. Kettles which hold just the right amount at just the right temperature. In the good old days, molasses candy was cooked until it spun a thread. But science has taken over now. Modern equipment and exact control are today's answer for uniform results. Candy makers call this barring down, a process necessary to cool the confection to just the right temperature before pulling. Looks simple, doesn't it? But a lot of experience is required before a man can handle this operation to perfection. Ever go to a taffy pull? Well, here's taffy pulling on a grand scale. 80 pounds of molasses candy at a time pulled on each side of each machine, a total of 160 pounds per machine. Up to this point, we've made delicious molasses candy. Now to work in that distinctive peanut butter, which is the heart of every bolster. Why is it distinctive? Well, for one thing, it's made right here in the Necco plant, and its consistency has been carefully worked out to blend in perfectly. There's a lot of difference in peanuts, you know, and Necco buys only the finest. Carefully roasted to exacting standards and minutely inspected, here's the makings of peanut butter at its best. It's honeycombing which makes bolster so crunchy, and once more, what looks simple is really a tricky operation. 
How do candy makers know when the candy is ready for the next step? Yes, you guessed it. Experience. Experience is the only way to learn. Now to get 80 pounds of candy down to many individual bars. One giant bolster, 200. Steam heated rollers and specially designed cutting machines do the job in seconds. Fine machinery plus skilled craftsmen. That's the perfect combination. Yes, sir. There's your favorite bolster bar without its chocolate coating. A candy which has been many times copied, but never equal. Here's the famous Penny Bolster too, a small edition of the big bar, and with its chocolate coating, every bit is delicious. Chocolate coating is a story in itself. I'll tell you about that a little later. Wish you had a bolster right now? Well, who doesn't? Here's two other products you've been seeing on candy stands as long as you can remember. The Neko Mint Patty and the familiar red and white box of chocolate peppermints. Except for size, these candies are identical. The same true peppermint oils and high-grade chocolate, too. The same skillful blending of these two flavors, blending which is the secret of real eating enjoyment. Over two million chocolate peppermints and hundreds of thousands of mint patties are produced each day in the Neko plant. How is it done? A specially designed machine which continually deposits the centers in automatically formed starch molds is one answer. Years of accumulated experience in the manufacture of high-grade candy is the other answer. Ready for their chocolate coating now, ready for the finishing touch. You know, with all the candy we have just seen, it doesn't seem possible that there are some parts of this world where it's still extremely difficult to obtain. Why, well, I've been places where candy as we know it is just about unknown. But here in America, where candy has become a recognized part of our diet, we're lucky to have fine confections such as those made by Neko, and they're as near as the corner store. One of the most unusual candy bars to be found anywhere today is the Sky Bar. The skillful processing of ingredients in just the right quantities is a must in fine candy making. And in Sky Bar, it is doubly important. In this bar of molded chocolate, there are four different centers, each center a different flavor and consistency. English toffee, honey nougat, French parfait, and peanut butter whip. They are all a part of this bar, which is more than 50% chocolate. Sky Bar is an exclusive product of Neko, literally a candy box in a bar. Now for that story on chocolate I promised you. I've seen cocoa beans growing in many parts of the world, and the different chocolates used in Neko products are made from the pick of the crop. From Ecuador they come, from Venezuela, Trinidad, British West Africa, Brazil, Santo Domingo. The blend of chocolate for peppermint patties is quite different from that used to cover bolsters, and the Sky Bar has its own blend too. What's the formula for these fine chocolate coatings? Ah, that's a closely guarded secret. That's another reason why Neko is tops. How are these chocolate coatings applied to Neko candies? Watch this. Now to see some of the most famous products the world of candy has ever known. Necco wafers and Chase and Canada mints. Ever since 1847, this type of candy has been a favorite one, and they gain in popularity every day. Necco wafers are the original sugar wafer candy. 
Necco wafers, Canada mints, and Chase mints belong to a distinctive family of fine candies, and the manufacturing process does not include any actual cooking. They are made of very finely pulverized sugar, and in fact are over 95% pure sugar. Sugar of the necessary consistency is unobtainable commercially, so Necco prepares its own. Here's a manufacturing process that I could watch over and over again. production, I'll say it is, this machine and others like it produce over 18 million wafers a day. When the wafers leave this drying oven, they're ready for the assorting table. Did you ever wonder how each package of Necco wafers has a full assortment of flavors and colors? Simple, isn't it, when you see it done? Each color and flavor is the result of scientific consumer preference tests. Wrapping of these candies is an art in itself. Necco wafers are famous for their thinness, flavor, and smoothness, and hand wrapping is the answer to the need for a tight, uniform wrap to protect them. Like all Necco candies, wafers are constantly and rigidly inspected. When they reach the candy counter, you can be sure of top quality. Canada and Chase lozenges are made in both mint and wintergreen flavors and exactly the same way as Necco wafers. By the hundreds of thousands, they flow from the machine. Packaging is an automatic operation, truly an outstanding example of man's inventive genius. Even as a little shaver, one of my ambitions was to be a candy sampler. I still haven't entirely lost that ambition. In the Necco plant, I felt that one of my pet dreams was coming true. Take hub gels, for example. Pop one of these in your mouth. Ah, they just melt and leave the purest and truest of fruit flavors on your tongue. There is no prettier sight than pure jellies in the making. Years of experience and an accumulation of candy making skills are Necco's guarantee that the finished product will be tender and full of flavor.
kinds of jelly candies are made here. Baby gum drops, orange slices, spearmint leaves, or a hundred different sizes and shapes. Like the centers for peppermints, jelly candy is deposited in starch molds. Then a tumbling, turning trip through an ingenious sugar sander. And there they are, ready for the packers. How about fudge? Well, Necco Dairy Churn Fudge is famous, of course. And that name was chosen because this fudge is made with pure dairy products. Ever see so much fudge at one time? Better have a bite of that, too, the real thing. Here's a pretty sight. Rows of gleaming polishing pans, putting the finishing touches on some old favorites. Perhaps yours is Jordan almonds. They're made here, too or Boston baked beans, a real old favorite. Perhaps you've been eating buttercream cones as long as you can remember. I know I have. No matter what kind of a sweet tooth you have, it can be satisfied by some of these. How does Necco wrap millions of packages every day? Well, take the chocolate peppermints, for example. The peppermints, for example. The boxes are made right here in the machine that seems almost human. How many boxes a day? Have a look at this bin where they're stored until the packers use them. Hundreds of thousands of clean new boxes every day. Boxing of the chocolate peppermints is a hand operation, just as is the packing of any fine chocolates. But watch this girl work. The right number picked up every time. Every box identically packed. Fine quality jellies like Necco sugar gels are packed by hand too, while other Necco candies are packed in bags in a semi-automatic operation. Fast, modern wrapping machines wrap other products and handle the candy with extreme care. It just doesn't seem possible that machines can perform so precisely. But just look at those packages, thousands of them on the way to candy counters all over the world. And bear this in mind, every package is specially designed for its contents. No guesswork here. Protection against breakage, protection against atmospheric conditions, and attractive design, all have been carefully thought out. Perhaps by the time you see this film, some of the wrappers will have been changed. That's because Necco is always searching out the tops in merchandising methods, always on the alert to make sure that wrappers will catch the eye and harmonize perfectly with each other. 
Just have a look at a Neko display. Look like quality? You bet it is. They're ready to go now. The highest quality candy which can be made anywhere. The best five cent candy in confectionery history. Almost anywhere you go, you will find the familiar Neko candy across the sea and to every state in the land. Yes, this is the favorite line of fine candies. These are the sweets that grandfather brought home to grandmother, and in the years to come, your grandchildren will look to Neko to satisfy that ever-present sweet tooth. For over a century, these products have been noted for their purity and quality. In the distant future, they will still be just what you expect. Wherever youngsters find the need for quick energy, wherever there's a chance to relax with a midday snack, and as long as dessert is served on American tables, you'll find Neko hard at work. Yes, this is a sure sign, a sign of good candy the sure sign of the highest quality ingredients, blended and engineered by skillful candy makers into products of the highest quality. The latest in equipment, the utmost in care of manufacture, and the desire to make the world's best candy all add up to America's most popular line of sweets. Almost every country on earth contributes something to these products. A lot of trouble and expense? Sure it is. But ordinary ingredients just won't do when there's a reputation like this to keep up. They must be the finest obtainable. A confectionery factory, it's much more than that. This is an American tradition and a sure sign, a sure sign of the candy everybody likes.